All right, so uh, I did a bit of a mini test run, see if we'd hit any problems, and we definitely hit a few. So, nothing too bad, but, uh, you know, the first one I ran into, I don't know, I guess I misclicked at some point, but uh, all these uh, little nails here their uh, normals are flipped so you need to select them all go into edit mode and you can go to mesh normals and recalculate outside and that will fix it because obviously like with uh, flipped normals Substance Painter just straight up wasn't rendering them. And that wasn't exactly brilliant. The other thing I think we uh, need to do is apply. Like, I've already done it, unfortunately, but um, just apply our Solidify modifiers onto these bands. And then the other thing we need to do with the bands is we need to make sure that we go in and actually this would probably be a I am flipping myself all over right now but uh it would be much easier if you did this before you applied the subsurf but you need to go in and you need to grab all the uh points here. You need to add a seam to them. I guess I, I missed that initially. And uh, we we're getting some really bad uh, UV stretching and like flipping in on itself. Like this is a mess. It's worse than it looks here. It really is. So we need seams. So now with those seams if we unwrap we end up with this, uh, actually, I, I wonder, maybe like a slight tweak, like do we even need the seams on the back? Or, no, I'd rather remove the front, come to think of it. <laughs> That'd probably make a whole lot more sense. But let's see if we can get all that selected. Okay, I'm assuming I got it all. Alright, I think I might have. What happens if I unwrap now? Probably like some. Yeah, like not as bad. Yeah, that might even be like okay, that amount of tearing. Yeah, and that way we don't have, like, that whole other thing on the UV map. Hmm. If I do conformal... Nope, oh, still all round. Alright, so... That's probably something I would do to the UV maps for these. Is go in and make sure the front section of these is cleared, and that the back, I keep, keep doing that, all right, and that the back here cuts all the way around, the mark seam, 
Unwrap. That should be good. All right, clear scene. Miss these two. Clear scene. Mark scene. All right. I like zoom in a bit, but I'm sure it's good. Occasionally, I believe in myself. That's usually why I get into all these problems, but, you know, yellow. Mark same, unwrap, very good. Only two more. See, it's not even completely unbearable. Did I get these sections on the last one? I can't remember. Feel like I did some. Yep. <laughs> I marked the front there. That that is a that is one of those pro moves there, as uh, the kids say. Those crazy kids. I did not clear those on that one. What about this? Wow, I am good at... I'm good at missing things. I am noticing. Wait, no, I did get... Yeah, I got that one. It's like all these others. All these others I didn't get. Okay. Here, I'm guessing, yeah, that one and that one. I got the ones on there. What about the first one I did? Yeah, I did that one right. It's all the others. Literally everything else. I will clear the seams. Mark these. Oh, all right. This is not bad. Not bad at all. Now, that, that took a bit more work than I thought. Because I... Yeah, I should have just uh, updated the backup and redone all that, but uh, whatever. I'm going to call that backup old. I'm going to make this kind of our new working version of the barrel. And all that should be pretty okay now. Hmm. Not sure. I think, like, maybe the only other thing is 
I wonder if I can get like a mat cap on here. Mat cap, mat cap. Yeah, I need a mat cap in here so I can see. There's some. I'm not happy with how this top board here turned out, basically. Some sections, like that. Okay, I'm not even... Is that, like, all this, di one of these displace modifiers? What is... What is doing that? Oh wait, yeah, I'm not not doing this for all of them. Yeah, so I might need to be more careful with those. That that's that's like one. But uh I'd say the other thing is be the UVs, the way they're flowing, it just looks too weird. Like, they need to be straighter than this. Because the way that it looks now on the UVs, they're all curvy. And that just, uh, that doesn't look right at all. I need to, like, take this corner. I need to be very careful with this. I believe that's, yeah, that's the corner. It's got the red markings there. And I should have been much more careful with these corner pieces here. Like, I think I'm just going to stick that kind of far out into there. And pull that in, on in there. Hmm. I think I, like I might end up kind of more needing just uh, an additional plank there. We might need more planks, like we just use small pieces there. We might need to, if we want this more correct. We might need to just kind of straight up redo these, honestly. With much smaller boards in the corners and wider boards on the top. Yeah, and like, look, I put the corner to this one all the way there. Like that, that was not smart. That was not a good idea. That turned out pretty badly. 
but I'm going to try this, and I'm going to leave the bottom one alone for now. Like, this is much straighter now. Maybe it'll look all right. Now I'll leave the bottom the way it is, so you can kind of see what that's like. And, you know, you can do the top or bottom kind of how you want, I suppose. It's up to you. I also think I kind of want to... Uh, do I change this to local? What's the local? Or normal. Yeah, I want the normal. Mm. Yeah, I kind of just want a bit more. Variation on these, I suppose. Why is it? Why is it doing that? Do we not have like a? We do have a bevel there. Maybe that's one of our modifiers, actually. Taking hold. I'm going to select all of these, go and edit the together on them all, and play in the normal Z, try to get just some variation here. I'm not going for much else. Whoops. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of that modifier. I'm not sure how crazy I am about it sometimes. Which one is, is it the, yeah, I think it is that C. Maybe I'll just make it way weaker instead of just turning it off. All right. Hmm. Other things I might consider changing. I don't know. I might actually change all these to be a bit weaker. Come to think of it. I feel like they're just making it too cartoony. All right. Mm. The only other thing I might want to change is maybe add more of a gap. But other than that, I think 
I think this is pretty, pretty good. I think this is pretty final here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to select it all. I'm going to come into my UV map. And I'm going to unwrap it. It made a bunch of my stuff. Bunch of these are sideways now. I do not want these to be sideways. So I am going to flip these 90 degrees. And now I'm going to come in here and deal with the little one. Up, oh, there's another. Okay. My priority is basically these ones. So this is the front of the planks. I can't fit that there. Hmm. Need to grab these and ship them down. Down there is probably good. No, nope, that's not enough. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to commit a minor sin here and shift those down so they're out of the way. Generally, you would not want to do that, but I really don't care that much about the metal and its texture. I care way more about our wood here. Basically all about the wood at this point. In case you haven't get the clue into that yet. It's all about the wood around these parts. Wood for days. That's what they say, at least, on the street. Okay, so... I think we pretty much... that's good. That is okay. I think that'll be okay. I really hope that'll be okay. So, I'm actually gonna... Do I need to... What? Yeah, I do. I changed. I changed a bit. So I need to delete that hierarchy. And then duplicate this one. And I'm gonna rename Hi, and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to bulk rename, find and replace low to high. Then I'm going to strip digits off the end. I'm going to strip punctuation off the end. So all our names are correct now. And, of course, let's not forget the fun we get to apply. I think that's Control L and Material. Yep. All right. Now we just go and apply these materials mm. 
All right. So we've got our export high now. And I'm going to take that. Export FBX. All right, I'm going to make sure selected objects, apply transform, and apply modifiers are all checked. And I'm going to export this as barrel underscore high. Not that that matters, that's just uh, something I do. All that really matters is the mesh names, not the file name. I just do that for tidiness, really. You can see here, I, I take in the substance and just throw in some basic materials on it. And you can see some of the warping the intense stretching we were getting here. Like, that is just not, not good. That is not good. Hmm. Some of the, like, it's just too curvy, this wood grain. Like, that's not, it's not really good. It's not a good look, I don't think. But I think a lot of it, other than that, the rest, pretty okay. Pretty okay. I am not not at all upset about how this turned out. But uh, now I'm going to come in and I'm gonna grab the new and uh, hopefully improved 100% functional barrel low here and import it. And it's gonna mess up like all my textures here because the UV maps are not at all the same. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to set up, you need to set up your high definition mesh here. So click the little file and then navigate to wherever you exported your FBX and select the high version. Uh, you probably want to change your max and rear frontal distance since we basically our metal bands are really close to each other. And so normally I believe this is 0 0.01 and I've changed it to 0 0.001, which seems to be enough. You want to match by mesh name. You want to set the ID map generation to material color. And that should be it. And hopefully this works. It seems to be baking just fine. I'm not, I'm not really noticing anything too crazy right away watching it bake. I'm thinking this is going to go just fine. <laughs> okay. And my ID maps back. And you can see all that weird stretching. That's all gone now because we actually put a seam along the back there. And our metal straps are over here looking pretty freaking all right over here. I like that. I like that distance. Like it's tight, but it's not digging into it. But unless like, you know, you put this in a game, unless the player like shoves his head halfway through the barrel, he is not going to tell. It's not like technically totally making contact. All right, let's see up here. Yeah, I actually like that a whole lot better. Like, it's way less wavy. Like, there's, like, some wave in a bit of these. But overall, yeah, that's way less wave. Like, you can still see it, like, a bit on the bottom. Like, that, 
That, that's too... That doesn't look right. That's too wavy. But yeah, this... Ah, I like this. This is good. This is a good barrel. And we could easily, like, put a hole in it, like, right here. Or in the top. Or just remove the top and throw bread or spears or people or whatever we want in here. Because if we go into the barrel... Substance Painter, will you please let me in the barrel? I want in the barrel. If we come in the barrel, it's actually not that bad. Barrel's a nice place to be. I could hang out in here. This is not, not a terrible textured interior. Now, if you don't want to open the barrel, you might want to go in and delete pretty much everything inside. And that's fair. You could delete, like, the whole back side. You just go into the top and delete it. And I have hit a key. But I do not know what that key is. What is that key? Projection. Oh, yeah, I brought up the projection menu. Okay. But, um, yeah, you could very easily delete the back side of the planks. Basically, anything behind that middle layer we built would be very easy to delete with no visible consequences. And that is part of the idea. So, it's very easy to, from this base we've got going on, kind of take the barrel in whatever direction you need. Make a much more optimized version. Make an open version. You can put a hole or whatever you want, wherever you want in it. The idea here is to make a strong base that's very uh, largely generative. Like, it would be pretty easy to tweak this barrel and get variants of it. That's kind of what I was aiming for. And uh, I'm going to walk you through, like, the basic texturing. Like, I tried some stuff. And I'm going to do this all from scratch for you, actually. So I'm going to go to materials. And I'm going to start off with like a wood rough. And real quick, I'm just going to rotate that 90 degrees. And maybe I'll set the scale to like 2. Yeah. And now I'm going to add a, yeah, a black mask. Oh yeah, I could have just added a mask with the color select, I guess. I always add the mask and then the color select. Even though I know there's a better way. But yeah, add a black mask and a color select. Select your wood. And... What I basically did from there is I went and I added the levels. I went into the roughness and I brought the kind of the minimum roughness or the bottom left hand roughness up. And then I just came in and I darkened the value for the wood a little bit. And I mean, I don't remember exactly where I got it. Maybe that's a little too dark. Yeah, like, that seems reasonable. And then I went... I actually went to the smart materials, because I just wanted, like, a quick, dark and dirty steel. And they have a dark steel stained in here. So I went and I grabbed that. And I'm going to add a mask with the color selection. I'm going to choose red. Because that's my metal. And yeah, that basically gets you to exactly where I am. And okay, it's been 35 minutes, so I'm actually going to end the video here. And I think I might play with it a little more, texture it up a bit, get this looking nice. And then we should uh, just 
bring it into Unreal, have a look at it, call it a day.